Hi again, everybody. This is Mr. Ballard, and I'm going to read The Three Pigs by David Weissner. You guys have probably seen this book before. This is a book that a lot of teachers like to read out loud, so you've probably seen this before. If you haven't seen this particular version of this story, then I'm sure you've heard The Three Little Pig story before. So this is Three, Three Pigs by David Weissner. And it's got a Caldecott medal, too. This is from one of my teachers. If you guys remember Miss Atlas, this book was given to me by Miss Atlas's mom. Once upon a time, there were three pigs who went out into the world to seek their fortune. The first pig decided to build a house and he built it out of straw. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and ate the pig up. Hey, he blew me right out of the story, said the pig. But then the pig got eaten. So. Now the second pig built his house out of sticks. Along came the wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and ate the pig up. Surprised the wolf's not full already. The third pig built his house out of bricks. Wow, why didn't you get two why did why didn't you two get eaten up? He said we got away from that wolf for good. Now that seems weird because his story says that they ate him up. Now we have room to move. Watch this. Oops. Uh -oh. Let's explore this place. Okay, just let me fold this up. You can see the pigs are crawling out of the pages. Uh oh. See, they're all in the pages. And there's the pigs. Whee! It looks like they folded one up into a paper airplane. They go. There they go. Uh oh. Looks like they crash landed. Oof. Hey, over here. Wait, what's that? I think someone's out there. Come help us with this. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Why are there pigs in the story now? The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Let's get out of here, said the pig. Phew, where to? This one, come on. How about in here? Oops. High on a hill. I don't know what that says. Looks like they're in another book. 
High on a hill there lived a great dragon who stood guard over a rose made of the purest gold. What? The king was determined to own this treasure, so he sent his eldest son to slay the dragon and bring back the golden roses. What? That's not a pig story. Pig says, come with us, hurry. He's talking to the dragon. Oh, looks like they're leaving that book too. Many thanks for rescuing me, O oh brave and noble swine. And then Pig says, don't mention it. Hey, diddle diddle, look who's here, welcome. It's the cat with the fiddle. This book is not like the other versions of the Three Little Pigs. Now what? Find something? What's this? It looks like they're taking this break and going to the dollar store. It's like a dollar store. It's my place. Notice the brickwork? I did it myself. A fine castle, methinks, says the dragon. Yes, it's very nice, says the cat with the fiddle. You know what? Let's go home. Good idea. We just have to pick these up. Looks like the wolf. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. I think we're back to the regular story now. Let's see if it changes again. The wolf huffed and he and all the letters are flying all over the place now. Can you see that? What in the world? I think the wolf looks scared of the dragon. So maybe the pigs have themselves a friend now. Okay, that's enough. Come inside, everyone. Soup's on. I think we're going to like it here, says the cat. Because it looks like the wolf is not going to be hungry. And they all lived happily ever after. So that is The Three Pigs by David Weissner. This is not the version of The Three Little Pigs that you have probably heard. It's not the version of The Three Little Pigs that I've seen anywhere else. This is definitely unique to this book. 